Good day, this is Bruce of Crantotech. Today, we want to show you the two most widely available GAN chargers in the market. So, on the left side here, we have the Baseus. On the right side here, we have the Ugreen. So first, before that, let's just dive in. What's the difference or what does the GAN charger mean? So we can see here in the small box here, there's the word GAN or G-A-N. And here you can see also the word G-A-N. So both of them are 65 watts and it says both of them are GAN chargers. So GAN just basically means gallium nitride. And this one was first shown everywhere in CES 2020. So this modern alternative to silicon means smaller, more efficient chargers and power bricks are on the way. So basically, how does the gallium nitride charger works? GAN chargers are physically smaller than current chargers. This is because gallium nitride chargers don't require as many components as silicon chargers. The material is able to conduct far higher voltages over the time than a silicon charger. GAN chargers are not only more efficient at transferring current, but this also means less energy loss due to heat. So more energy goes to whatever you're trying to charge. When components are more efficient at passing energy to your devices, you generally require less energy from them. So as a result, the GAN power bricks and chargers will be noticeably smaller. Let's just unbox the GAN charger for both the Basius and the U-Green charger. Before we unbox the unit, we just want to inform you, these two items was bought personally by our team and this is not in any way sponsored. So this video is just to help you to choose between the Basius GAN charger and the U-Green GAN charger. So let's unbox one by one. So we just remove the seal. So let's just go through the box one by one. So here it says GAN Mini Quick Travel Charger. So this is 65 watts and this uses the GAN technology. So what we need to take note here is that this GAN charger only have three ports. So that's the type C, one, two type C, and one type A. So we need to take note here that this power brick is able to charge your notebooks. So the input voltage is 100 to 240 volts, so it means this is auto volt, so you can use this in any other country. Here, the Type C1 have the power delivery function. So we can see that it supports 3 volts, 5 volts, 9 volts, 15 volts, and 20 volts at 3.25 amperes. So that gives you a total of 65 watts. So if you would like to charge your notebook with this device, you are only able to use the type C1 slot. On the top of the charger, you can see the label of C1 and C2. The C2 is only able to charge up to 30 watts, 20 volts, 1.5 ampere. So this is just a normal charger. You can use this anywhere. So let's open the charger. So at the back, the instruction manual. We bought this in Lazada and the other one from Shopee. So we can see here that the instructions manual is Chinese because most of the products sold for Basilius and Ugreen are sold at China or overseas. So let's just unbox the unit. We can see here for the Basilius, they have the charge light function here or meaning to say it's powered on. So what we really like about this one is that uh, this one is very portable. So you just have a switch lever here to open and close your charger. So you can just put your power brick anywhere in your bag. So it's this is roughly very, very small. So here, let's just remove the sticker. So before we remove the sticker, we can see the port here. It says type C1, C2, and the USB-A. So the, only the C1 is capable of charging up to 65 watts of power. So both of this unit is not able to charge up to 90 watts. There may be some notebook that requires 90 watts. So be mindful that it can only charge up to 65 watts. So let's peel this. So we can see here, this is a very beautiful small charger. So we have the C1, C2, and Type A. So this is Basilius. We'll just put it on the side. So let's open the U-Green. This is the U-Green. So let's just go through the box. So the advantage of the U-Green is that it has four ports. There's three Type C and one Type A. And 
this is also a foldable solution so this will make your charger very compact and small it can do multiple devices of course because there's four fast charging ports at the back it says uh super power fast charging pc case material and stable plug let's just check the output specification and input so input is 100 to 240 volts this is basically a standard this is auto volt so we can see that usb c1 and usb c2 output has 5 volts 9 volts 12 volts 15 volts and 20 volts so if you would like to charge your notebook you better be sure that you char you put your charger from the usb c1 and usb c2 so that it can do an output of 65 watts so if you have two ports then it will basically just divide by two so that's 30 watts each port you're going to be charging your notebook and cell phone at the same time so this wattage would decrease but still this is a very portable charger so you don't need to worry about it at least this is very versatile to charge charge multiple devices at the same time so let's open the box so we can see that the box of the u green is uh, slightly more premium than the basilius so here we have the manual the good thing about this one is that u green instruction manual is in english so here we can see the output Basically, it's a normal charger. You don't even need to look at this. You just need to look at the back of the box itself. This is the case of the U-Green. Let's just pull it out. So this is also a very nice charger. So let's just remove the plastic. It says uh, power delivery fast charge. If you are to compare the U-Green and the Basius, I think this one is fairly heavier than the, than the Basius charger. So this one also comes with a flip out, flip in. Based from... From the flip experience, we can say that uh, the U-Green have a more solid flip feel. This one is harder to, to, to flip out and flip in. Okay, so the next one here is here at the back. So the advantage, you can clearly see the advantage of the U-Green. Three Type-C ports and one Type-A port. So let's just compare this in size. So this is the U-Green side by side. In terms of the slim design, we can see that uh, this side is the same side, wherein uh, it's the same thickness. So we just compare it side by side. So we can see a clear advantage of the, the size is actually so much smaller than the U-Green. But we can see here the height of the Basius is actually taller than the U-Green. So this is a complete square brick, so wherever you, you flip it, uh, the, the U-Green will give you the same size. Okay, so this in this part, it is only a matter of choosing you want more ports for your 65 watts GAN charger, or you have fewer ports but slightly smaller charger for your devices. Okay, so this one is, an, is a power brick, so you can use this for your notebooks. And this one is also fairly heavy. We can see that uh, the in terms of weight, the weight is almost similar to each other. So we have the Basius on the left side and U Green on the right side. I think this both of the power bank are relatively good. The only difference that we see here is that sometimes we see it online and there's uh, the product for sale. So this item can be purchased from 1299 to 1599 so you just check the online prices and this one can be purchased from 1299 to 1599 most of the time we see a around 100 to 200 peso difference the u green is the u green is slightly more expensive than the basius i think mainly because of the port so that additional port would require you an additional chipset, an additional material for this part. So if actually if U-Green were to reduce the overall size for the unit, we can see here that uh, I think they can also shrink the size to the same similar to the Basius. And another thing to check here, if you happen to be meticulous in the plugs, so you can see here that the spacing of the U-Green is much bigger. Sometimes there are USB cables that are quite thick, so especially the type a then you would need to go for the u green for this one so we can see that the spacing of the u green is slightly bigger or the gap is bigger than the basius i think for basius they really did a good job in terms of shrinking everything and for the u green they really did a good job in terms of providing you the 
more ports for flexibility. So here you can charge your notebook, you can charge your iPad, and you can charge your, your mobile phone. And here maybe you can just charge an additional type A or any type A. As for this one, you can use your notebook and your phone and another extra port for your usability. So the good thing about this one for the Ugreen is that after your notebook has fully charged, when it has already reached the full charge capacity, then the second port can give you the next full capacity charge. So this one can automatically just switch to your preference. But of course, it's the same for the Basius, but it only has two ports. So now for the final decision, so which to buy. So actually, this both of these devices are relatively good. Uh, these chargers doesn't really break down easily. You really is looking for the portability, you can go for the Basius. If you want the versatility of charging more ports, you have more friends, you're going out with friends, then you can purchase the Ugreen. And just to give you a, a quick comparison, we also bought the the older generation, the 65 watts, the first version of the 65 watts of the U-Green charger. So this is not the GAN charger type. So we can see that uh, it has a very, very big 65 watts charger. Okay, so comparing it with the uh, Basius, so this is the top part. So we have very similar in size, the Basius is still thicker. So we can see that the uh, Basius is actually half the size of the first generation U-Green 65 watt power delivery charger. So this one, the same 65 watts comparing to the old silicon type, the size is actually half of it. So we can see that the GAN chargers nowadays have actually reduced and shrink its size to one half. So this is the clear advantage of purchasing the GAN charger. So we can see here on top that uh, the size of this Basius is one half the size. So let's just compare this, uh, all, this first generation to the U-Green. So U-Green have definitely shrink the size, the new size of the new new charger, their new GAN charger. So we can see that it only shrink by around, maybe we can see, say around 20% of the total package. The, the thickness is the same. But the big difference that we can see here that U-Green really did good about the ports. So now from the single port 65 watts charger, they now have four ports. So we have three type C ports and one type A port. So if you have already bought the old 65 watts charger, I don't recommend, uh, we don't recommend that you transfer to the new one unless uh, you're really a traveler that you really require a smaller package that can charge everything. So if you're happy with the old one, this is, this is actually relatively cheaper. This is only around 1,099 or 1,100 pesos. So you can still go for the power delivery charger and get another smaller charger to charge for your mobile device. So the only difference is that if you're going to be using the old one, this means that you need to purchase this big charger and you have another charger for your mobile device. But, they, but then again, all notebooks and all mobile phone comes with a charger within it. So if you are really a traveler, we can strongly recommend that you purchase the U-Green GAN charger or the Basius GAN charger. This ends our video comparison. We hope that with this video, this can give you an idea on which to purchase. Will you purchase the Basius smaller charger or the U-Green charger with more ports? So once again, this is Bruce of Cantatech signing out.